Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we go over the age old question of what's for dinner. We do our best to help answer that for you. Hopefully we can inspire you and uh, give you some ideas of what to have for dinner tonight. Today we're gonna be talking about how to make extra crispy quesadillas. Quesadillas are awesome because they're pretty much the perfect vehicle for just about any kind of meat, vegetable, and cheese combination that you can think of. Today we'll be using some pot roast that was left over from dinner last night, as well as uh, green and red peppers and some onions. So let's get started and cut up our vegetables to the desired size that we want. I tend to like to cut mine uh, similar to what I would use for fajitas. We're gonna start off with a hot pan set over medium heat, and to that we're gonna add in some butter. Let that melt down uh, so we can saute our vegetables. Let's go ahead and get our vegetables into the pan. I like to start off with my peppers. Again, they're cut a little bit thicker than the onions. They tend to take just a little bit longer to cook down. So I like to give them a little bit of a head start before adding in my onions. Now that our vegetables have cooked down, let's go ahead and add in our pot roast to the mix. We just wanna make sure that everything gets heated all the way through. This is going to make sure that every bite we have is hot, as well as help in melting the cheese on our quesadilla. Now that our filling has cooked, let's go ahead and remove that from the pan and add in some more butter. This is what's really going to help make our quesadillas extra crispy. Once your tortilla has been added to the pan, go ahead and move that around just to make sure it has a chance to soak up as much of the butter as possible. Go ahead and add in your cheese followed by your filling. Now I decided to use a medium cheddar cheese as well as mozzarella. I also decided to add in some fresh cilantro to my filling mixture. Once all the filling has been added, go ahead and top with another layer of cheese. This is gonna help that top tortilla adhere to everything else. Once all of your filling has been added, go ahead and top with another tortilla that has been buttered and be sure to put the buttered side facing up. Now I know I made a mess with all the cheese and a lot of it didn't even get onto the tortilla. I actually did this on purpose. As this cheese cooks, it's gonna get nice and crispy and we're gonna go ahead and push that cheese back into the middle of the tortilla and that's gonna help give us some extra crispiness. Now just listen to the crunch. I'm telling you, the secret to a good quesadilla is cooking with butter. And that's it. Let's go ahead and get this served up. I personally like to eat my quesadillas with a side of guacamole. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll be continuing to roll out new videos every single week. Also, if you're interested in saving money on your grocery bills or any shopping that you may be doing online, go ahead and check out the description box below. I've linked a couple of apps that I've used that have helped me save a ton of money for just shopping the way that I normally do. Thanks for watching and have a great day.